Right, so, Thor, number seven, we're going to talk about it. Let's roll the intro. Okay, so Thor issue 7 is, well, it's a filler issue. So what's actually going on in this isn't that important. It's just, a lot of it is just Thor and Better Ray Bill sitting and talking and they're having a really awkward conversation because it's just coming off the back of the last arc where Better Ray Bill was absolutely clobbered his hammer got destroyed by Thor himself and he got sent back to Asgard and he's essentially like right you beat me up broke my hammer made me look like a fool and didn't kill me and now I'm here so tell me why am I still in Asgard why are you still why are you talking to me what is the reason of me being here and if you don't tell me in the next five minutes, I will leave. And so Thor just questions him about where is Thanos? What is he really dead? Is he actually going to stay dead this time? Because Thor had that vision in the last issue of he's going to die with Thanos holding his hat, uh, holding Mjolnir with the six Infinity Stones in it, and behind him is like an army of Marvel zombies. It's like an army of zombie versions of like She-Hulk, Moon Knight, Spider-Man, Hulk, all that lot. And it's a really, that was a really awesome scene. Uh, they re, they redo that with Aaron Kuda's art and it doesn't have the same effect because instead of it being a two page, a two page splash, it's just like a panel at the, po <laughs> at the bottom of the page in the middle of the page and it doesn't have the same effect but whilst that is happening on Asgard Thor has thrown his hammer in smack dab into the middle of Broxton, Oklahoma which is way back before Siege um, Thor actually um, summoned Asgard to appear right after the second Ragnarok when Thor died and then Thor got bonded back with Donald Blake um, this is that happening again uh, with the hammer falling into Broxton, Oklahoma some guy uh, from a mechanic uh, shop comes and finds the hammer and on the hammer is Tony Stark's private phone number so he rings Tony Stark and Tony Stark shows up and on the back of the hammer is a pick it up uh, and he's like damn it what the fuck are you doing Thor and then the guy actually picks it up and he turns into Thor and meanwhile we have Thor saying to Better Ray Bill the thing that I'm worried about me on it isn't that I've been, I've been struggling to pick it up it's that other people aren't and that, that's really interesting, and whilst not a lot actually happened in this issue of No, uh, the, thing, the things that Donny Cates is, is moving towards and the cogs that he's setting in motion are really interesting, and I really am interested to see where this goes going forward and what, what, happens, with, what happens with Thor and how he becomes, like, how this situation with Mjolnir gets resolved and also what the hell is happening with Thanos and how do the Marvel zombies fit into this and um, it's all it's all really interesting it's all really fun and um, yeah I, I like Aaron Kuda's art it's not as good as Nick Klein's I wish Nick Klein was still on art duties but you know Aaron Kuda is fine for two issues but it's the it's that's comic books for you. You'll have an artist that you really like, but unfortunately, 
due to the amount of work that a comic book artist has to do, they just have to take time off a book. And then the art will change for a certain amount of issues, and just as you get used to that artist, the artist that you, you liked before, or you didn't like before, comes on. It's the same problem that I've had with, um, it's the same problem that I've had with Captain America, it's the same problem I had with Black Panther, it's the same problem that I've got here. And it's a problem that is not, that is in pretty much every comic book that you'll read, unless if it's an indie and it's got that creative team on it from from the start to finish, and it's their vision. But without further ado, that is my opinion on Thor issue 7. If you have read Thor issue 7, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. If you haven't read Thor yet, um, and you're you're interested on, uh, about it, uh, maybe, you're, maybe you're playing Fortnite, and you're like, what is this all about? And you wanna you wanna read the story that is what what's going on in Fortnite of all things is based on, then go read the first arc of this. It's really good. You should definitely read it if you even if you're not like into Fortnite, which I know a lot of you probably aren't. Um, but yeah, it it's a really fun story and it's really interesting to see where it's going and Donny Cates definitely has cogs turning in his brain and the man is a genius so you know anyway see you guys in the next video go check out my twitch my twitter my instagram all that lovely stuff and bye